Hey guys, uh, Christine O'Donnell here. I'm a reporter and I'm doing this video to follow up on another story I did back in February. We're in March now. And uh, the story I did in February was regarding human sex trafficking. Uh, I did it about um, a young woman. She's uh, 18 years old, had just turned 18, wanted to go on camera, which is so, so very rare when it comes to human sex trafficking. We normally do not put victims on camera. Um, so I did this story about her. Um, police say that she is one of dozens of young ladies who was trafficked by a man by the name of Ariel Guizar, or Shy, as many people know him. Um, well, when Shy was arrested, uh, there was another uh, woman that was arrested with him named Araceli Alvarez. Uh, Araceli is another young woman. Um, she is referred to by police as Shy's bottom girl, which means uh, that she was his highest ranking prostitute and that she also uh, performed um, you know, some enforcement. So um, where I'm going with this is there was another person who had just been arrested in the case, and I'm talking about Jocelyn Contreras Alvarez. Now, she is Shy's girlfriend, um, his baby mama, the one who he has a little girl with. Uh, this little baby, uh, police say, was present for a lot of... Um, the interactions, the human sex trafficking. And so she was just arrested on Thursday, the 10th of March in Stockton. And she is now charged with um, child abuse, with threatening others. Um, she's in the same uh, ring of people uh, who police believe were recruiting young ladies from all over uh, the state of California and even outside of California to... Um, become prostitutes. And these aren't women who knew that they were going to be prostitutes. Um, since that story aired, uh, the one I did where I spoke to the 18-year-old woman and she spoke out on camera, shared her story. Well, since that story aired, so many other young ladies have come forward uh, who say they were directly related to um, what was happening with uh, that case. Um, that say they were recruited by Shy. Shy is a tattoo artist, had a lot of followers on Instagram. Uh, some of the girls, of course, are from foster homes, um, having trouble at home and or wanted a tattoo. They saw his page, saw he had a lot of likes and maybe liked a photo, then he liked one of theirs, then that turned into messages, messages turned into friendship, sometimes sexting, the sexting turned into a meetup, the meetup turned into sex, the sex later turned into rape, the rape turned into forced prostitution, and so forth and so on. So, um, and what I'm repeating to you is what other victims have told me. Um, that has not been proven in the court of law yet. It's literally just what victims have told me. And so many of their stories are so very similar. So um, I do want to side note, uh, say thank you to those women who have come forward to share their stories with me. There's probably a dozen of you. And I'm really, really happy to hear what you guys have gone on and done with your lives uh, since you were able to get away. So um yeah, I'm really, I'm really glad that you guys reached out to me and shared your stories. So thank you. Um, and I did, I just, some people had uh, heard about this arrest, um, about Jocelyn's arrest, and they requested that I do a video just to update everybody. So um, that's the latest. I know this is not a traditional news story, but um, I haven't uh, been able to cover it because, I mean, I was... I was on other news stories uh, when that happened, and so I just wanted to get this information out there. She is expected to be in court tomorrow, Monday, uh, in Orange County, so um, that that's what's going to happen, and we're going to see what goes on from there. Um, Araceli and Shy are still behind bars. I know they had another court appearance not too long ago. And um, I'm sure there's going to be more updates in this story. And I do want to express that this is not the only uh, human sex trafficking ring that is happening in California, not by a long shot. I was literally just at another story where a 20-year-old uh, 
had gone to a birthday party with her friend and uh, the friend turned out to be not so great of a friend because police say she led her led her into the arms of these two gorilla type pimps who weren't Romeo pimps. They were really, really abusive and this young woman uh, was able to escape within four days. She was able to get to a phone, call her mother, but a lot of horrible stuff happened to her in between that time. And, and that's just one other ring. So as you can imagine, this is a really huge issue. Um, it's happening underneath our noses every single day. Um, and I'm just, I'm just letting you know about it. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.